You know when you just don't feel like you fit in anywhere? Like, yes, you fit in with a group of friends, you fit in with the demographic every other marketer is trying to target, you fit into the suburb your parents chose to live in before you were born, but you still don't feel like you fully fit in. That feeling, that particular feeling is one that I've experienced my entire life. I've always felt a little bit off. Well, not crooked necessarily, but a little different from everyone else. I had a group of friends when I was younger. We were all close until middle school, but I had a feeling we would reunite someday. Some part of me could tell that they knew that too. They felt that feeling. The antsy all the time, can't get enough adventure, I don't fully click with everyone else feeling. And they may not have felt it as fully or constantly as I did, but I knew there was a reason that we all came together at some point. There are four of us. Caroline, Toby, James, and me. We've been friends since second grade. I think Caroline was a little afraid of me when we met, as I typically played rougher with the boys in elementary school. Toby and James had been friends since kindergarten. Toby lived next door to me, and our moms were friends, so we had known each other for a while, but didn't really become friends until the summer before fourth grade. Toby invited me over to play water balloons with him and James, and we ended up spending a lot of time together that summer. I introduced them to Caroline, things clicked, and we became quite an interesting bunch. I knew they all felt that feeling, though. I could tell. If it wasn't something in their eyes, it was the way they spoke, how they acted. Something just screamed that they had an overwhelming knowledge of this feeling I felt. I knew I was with the right people. That's where the house comes in. There's this house. It's on Kenwood Boulevard, and I think it's been there since way before I was born. Rumor has it the last person who lived there died in there, but whenever I asked my parents about it, they never said much. The house had been abandoned ever since I could remember, and ever since I could remember, I had wanted to go inside. The house was like me. It didn't quite fit in. It did at one point, but since then, all the houses around it on the east side had been fixed up and remodeled, updated. Now it just looked lonely and lost. It was dilapidated. The siding was falling off. Some of the windows were broken. (laughs) The garden was way overgrown, but... Still, underneath, I could tell that there was still something there. There was still a glimmer of hope for that house, and the only way to find it was to go inside. So I did. 